Welcome to Amazing World Channel. Russian River Runs Red The Siberian Times reported on September 7 that the Daldikn River near the city of Norilsk had turned the color of blood, with locals pointing fingers at the nearby Nades de Metallurgical Plant, owned by the company Norilsk Nickel. In fact, a broken pipeline at the plant may be the culprit, according to a statement from the Russian Ministry of Natural Resources. The company, however, has denied any accidental discharge of pollutants. The company did not respond to Live Science's request for comment. Norilsk Nickel does have a history of environmental problems, however. In 2014, a company plant in Hardiv Alta, Finland, released 66 metric tons, 72.7 US tons, of nickel into the Kokmanjoki River, sending nickel levels soaring far above safe limits. Finland Times reported at the time that levels in the river in the city of Pori reached 530 micrograms per litre. Safe drinking levels are below 20 micrograms per litre. The water in the Kokmanjoki did not turn red, however. Norilsk is no stranger to struggles with pollution. In 2007, the city appeared on the top 10 list of worst polluted places on Earth, in a report released by the environmental group the Blacksmith Institute. The city also consistently ranks as the most polluted city in Russia, according to government statistics. According to the Blacksmith Institute, Norilsk is home to the world's largest heavy metals smelting complex, and is the source of all this pollution. This oil around Norilsk has been so polluted that, according to NASA, it can actually be mined, it contains economically useful levels of palladium and platinum. Each year, the smelters release nearly two tons of sulfur dioxide into the air above Norilsk, emissions that cause acid rain and have reached as far as 124 miles 200 kilometers, away, according to a 2003 study in the Russian Journal of Ecology. A 1995 review of research on public health in Norilsk, published in the journal Science of the Total Environment, found higher than average rates of cancer and cancer deaths, higher than average rates of premature births and high rates of respiratory disease in children. A 1985 dissertation study found that children living closest to the nickel plant were 1.5 times more likely to have respiratory ear, nose or throat diseases than those living farther away. While it remains unclear what caused the Daldikn River to flow crimson, mining and industrial processes have caused similar problems in other places. In 2015, wastewater from a long abandoned mine in Colorado flowed into the Animas River, turning the water a striking orange color. Red waters aren't always a sign of doom and gloom. This summer, Iran's Lake Urmia turned from green to blood red as a result of microorganisms that thrive on salt and light. The blood falls of Antarctica get their scarlet hue from bacteria hiding out in the briny water beneath the glacier there. Salt-loving archaea microbes turn Utah's Great Salt Lake a rosy pink. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and share button. And subscribe for more.